So now we're going to go through a wall angel, uh, finding a spot on the wall that is relatively free, doesn't have any pictures, doesn't have any ribbon, isn't a caved in door because you need to have enough space for your arms to be. Uh, and for this one, it's very important to make sure that you have as much contact with the full back as possible. So we're going to go through this. So I'm going to get into a slight squat position here. And then I'm going to essentially do a pelvic tilt, bring ribs and hips closer together. And we're going to make sure that this stays nice and strong, nice and tight. And then I'm going to bring the shoulders up to shoulder height. And then you're going to bend at the elbows. And then what you're going to do from here is come into this position, trying to get as much contact with the wrists as possible to the door or wall, wherever you're able to do it. Start with a little bit of a squeeze just to make sure that you have the position and you are comfortable. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up and down and up and down, making sure that you're getting a nice squeeze at the bottom position. Now for this one, we don't need to come all the way up. We're just working in the comfortable range that we have. Really trying to focus on getting the shoulder blades to move along the spine and along the rib cage and getting that squeeze at the end. If that is a little bit challenging for you, you can always come and do this in a seated position against the wall or the door, wherever works best for you. And you can sit in a cross-legged position or you can sit with the legs nice and straight out in front of you. Again, this is gonna help you keep as much contact with the surface as possible with your back so that we're working on that posture and core stability together. So then you come to there. I like to do that little bit of a squeeze first. And then you go up and down and up and down. Again, trying to keep the wrists as close as possible. Ideally, should be flat against the wall. You do have some tightness. Maybe do a little bit of a release in the armpit area first, just to help you get to that full. But if your wrist is not flat up against the wall, that's okay. We want to work through that range. If you're really finding that your wrists are having a hard time, you can always do this on the ground. I like to do this one for a lot of people because then you're gonna get that gravity helping you out. Of course, this is best for people who can get up and down off the ground easily. So if you have any knee pain or hip stuff going on and it's hard for you to get around on the ground, I would suggest maybe doing something against the wall. That might be a better position for you. So you're going to get into that same sort of position, bending the hips and knees again so that you have as much contact with the surface as possible that you're doing it on. And then we're going to come up and then you're going to come here, making sure again that you have that pelvic tilt and core bracing happening. And then you're going to go in that same position. Okay. And that's the three different ways that you can do a wall angel. So pick the one that works best for you.